Hello everyone. Let's solve legal question one seven three zero. Shortest path to get food, and it's a median legal question. You are starving, and you want to get food quickly as possible. You want to find the shortest path to arrive at any food cell. You're giving m multiplex n character matrix grid of different types of cell. So star is your location. There's exact only one cell, and the pound is food cell. There may be multiple food cell. Basically, this one and O is the free space, and you can travel through these cells. And X is an obstacle where you cannot travel through these cells. And you can take a look at the examples like the X is like the wall, and you are not able to move there. And you can travel to any adjacent cell, north, east, south, west of your current location. If there is no obstacles, basically it's four directionally moving. Return the length of the shortest path for you to reach any food cell. If there is no path for you to reach food, then return ah、uh, minus one. So you can take a look at this example. Shortest path is you can go here, here, here. So basically three steps, or here, 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 three steps as well. It takes three steps to reach the food, and in this example, you cannot pass the wall. Right? It's simply impossible. So you want to return minus one, and in this case, and you can see there are multiple food option here, and I can go down to get the food from here or this one. Apparently, by looking at this, you know this one is further because you have to go down. So then, if you try to reach this this food, ah,、uh, the pizza here, and the, the shortest distance is six. It's ah、uh, pretty straightforward, and you can see there are some constraints here, and. This is the definition, and we can see that the company asked the question in the last six months. Amazon twelve times, Google twice. By looking at this question, you can kind of already tell it's the shortest path, and you want to visit this layer by layer. And in this kind of case, you want to use buffer search, and、um, it's really straightforward. So. You basically wanted to、uh, go through the grid、um, uh, row and columns to add your location first and append it to the queue. And the queue is usually the data structure that you want to use together with the buffer search. And after that, you want to iterate through every single layer and. Then you can popping start from the queue. Every cell that you have visited, just add it to the visit、um, set. And then after that, what you can do is, um, you can check that if, um, if you already find the destination, which is the pizza here, then you can just simply return the result. And if not, you just go up one layer, search all its neighbor, and as long as the neighbor, uh. Uh, the neighbor is not wall, and you can continue to move and continue to add the cell, the row, column, and add them to the visit set. And each iteration, you want to increase the, your um the step to uh uh plus one, so that in the end you can calculate it through. And if you popped. Everything from the queue. There's nothing left in the queue, and you're still not able to find anything. Then you want to make return minus one. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in code. So、um, I know I will use a visit set to put the cell that I have visited there already, and then I want to define rows calls equals to length of a grid. And call is length of grid zero, right? And then、um, so I want to use Q as the Q, and I want to I will append a value first. So the next what I would do is I will since it didn't pass you the start、uh, location of where you are, so you kind of have to go through the.、Um, Entire grid to check where your location is. How to do that is for R in range of、uh, rows, and、uh, for C 
in a range of calls, basically every single cell. And then what you want to check is a grid R C. If your grid R C equals to um, the star, basically where you are, you want to queue append the R C to this queue. That's your star position. So by now we already have your location in the star position already. So what we want to calculate is the steps to reach the food, right? So I will give the result as zero before I iterate, go through the queue. I will say while queue, while queue happens for I in range of length of queue so that I can iterate through every layer of the queue and then I would start popping. This is like a format of uh, buffer search pop uh, Q dot pop left. I want to because I put your location here where you are. So I want to start popping this location and add their neighbors. So RC and I already popped the location and once I pop it, I want to say visit add. I want to add the RC to the visit set. So I will need to go through the cell again. And then so I will say if um, I'll give, give it a base condition um, to check if grid RC, whatever I popped, whatever I added in this step is already reached to the food. I think that is the food. Yeah, if I already reached the, the food cell, then I want to stop the iteration. I will return result immediately, right? And then otherwise, I will just continue to calculate its neighbor for the RDC in um, 0, 1, and then uh, 0, minus 1, and then this one, zero, I want to minus one, zero. And then I want to calculate the neighbor cell row call equals to R plus DR in C plus DC. And that's, that's basically this cell and this cell and this cell and this cell four directionally. Um, and then I'm going to do a continue, uh, condition check because if this is like a wall or obstacle, I'm not going to be able to move to here at all. So I can only move to this and then this position, right? So I will do check first check if it's within uh, inbound and then rows and zero minus equals to call minus uh, calls. And then I'm going to check grid row colon um so the grid for the row colon if it's a uh, let's see if it's um if it's a food cell you will actually be able to move there so i would say uh in here if this grid does not equal to X, so meaning that if the cell that you move is not an obstacle, you can move there. And then what I'm going to do is uh, when that happens is I'm going to Q dot append this row and then the column and then visit. I want to add. I want to add the neighbor to the row and the column. And after the uh, each uh, iteration through the queue, I want to uh, add uh, the result one to the result, right? And at the end of the queue, if I'm still not able to find this um, answer, like this, uh, the destination where the pizza is, I'm going to return minus one in this case. So I think that's it for the code. Yep, it went through.
Let's see what went wrong here. So visit set um, length of grid Q equals to DQ and I have the visit set and when I go through the 4R and C in range of calls if grid RC equals to the star then I want to append the RC and then result equals to zero for I in range length of Q then RC I want to Q dot pop left visit dot add RC if grid RC equals to food the pizza then I want to return it immediately for DRDC in direction zero one zero minus one one zero minus one and then I want to calculate the new neighbor count row calls equals smaller than calls and a grid uh, row colon does not equal to x oh um so uh, the other thing is uh, I, I I forgot to check that the row colon um, has to I, I have I have to make sure that it's not in visit I have not visited yet because if visited again then I I, I missed the one condition check if that is the case then I want to append this to the queue and then add them to the visit set and then It accepted. I hope this is helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!